Greetings and welcome, my friends. This is The Book Thief, our latest Demir combo deck featuring the new Doomsday Demon that puts the opponent on a clock. We're using his ability that wipes out all but six cards from each player's library. We then mill those cards away, and the good times is all ours, and it's sadness and crying for the opponent. Along the way, we have removals, along with some cards to help find our key pieces. Even if we can't find our combo, we can put up a fight and use the opponent's men against them. Let's steal their books. We have the full set of Rona's Vortex, a bounce spell at worst, and a way to permanently deal with an enemy man or planeswalker. For one blue, we can fire it off to bounce an early threat. Later in the game, we can pay the kicker to put something on the bottom of their deck. Smell you later, bro. Three steps ahead is a solid counter, and for a bit of extra mana, we can use it to draw as well. The copy ability is likely not one we'll use often, but it is there if we need to copy our banner or even make a copy of Doomsday. Duress is a bit of discard to take out any powerful cards in the opponent's hand. With it, we can keep an eye on what they're trying to do and possibly make plays to disrupt the opponent long enough until we can get our combo. Impulse is a fantastic search card. With it, we can dig through our deck and find one of our key pieces or help find any card we might need. If we've gotten half of our combo cards, this can easily help us get the other half. Demonic Council is a tutor card that will help us find a Doomsday. And if we manage to get Delirium, we can use it to fetch any card from our deck. With only two copies of Doomsday, this effectively gives us four ways of getting to our demon. It would take some work to get Delirium, but it's possible. Feed the Cycle is targeted removal for enemy men as well as planeswalkers. It's proven an effective card in other decks, and we can take advantage of it here too. The Edict is a great tool to use against enemy men with ward, and we can use it to snipe opposing planeswalkers as well. It will work to thin out enemy men or can be used to snipe a lone token or non-token. The Banner is our extra mana source since we will need to have six black to be able to play out Doomsday. That's a difficult ask for a two-color deck, but with the Banner, we should be able to get the full six black. Jace is our game winner. We will look to play him out after we've landed Doomsday and reduce the opponent's deck to a smoldering ruin. Even a three mana Jace will be enough to take out the opponent's library after Doomsday has crushed it. In the meantime, we can use Jace to help with creature control and to draw extra cards. Deadly Cover-Up is our Black Sweeper of choice. It will take out all men for only five mana, and if we are able to, we can collect evidence and take out a key part of the opponent's deck. When there are too many enemy men for our removals, this sweeper will get the job done. Doomsday is one half of our combo. When he enters play, he'll wipe out all but six cards from every library. We're stealing books and Doomsday is the prime suspect for taking them. The Virtue is a great piece of removal early and late in the game. We can play it for the full seven mana and use the opponent's men to take down their life total. Going this route means we've had a hard time getting our combo, but this is an alternate way of winning a game if we aren't able to deck the opponent. For lands, we have two Demolition Field, a great answer to opposing man lands, as well as being able to get us the color we need. Four Fabled Passage, the land we can use to fetch out any basic land. Three Undercity Sewers, the Demir Surveil land. Three Restless Reef, the Demir Shark land. Seven Swamps, and five Islands. Playing the deck is moderately difficult as you'll need to stay alive through the early to mid game. We have plenty of removals to snipe enemy men, but being able to know when to hold them and when to cut them down is a critical decision point that needs to be navigated carefully. We don't have much card draw, so don't burn through cards in hand rapidly. In the late game, we should be playing out a Doomsday, then wrecking the opponent's last six cards with Jace or even a Shark Land. All we need is for Doomsday to land. Whether or not he survives doesn't matter. For upgrades, some more mill could easily slide in, or even more hand disruption could put the opponent on the back foot while building up our board for the smashing combo. We are purposefully playing only two men, the two copies of Doomsday to blank the opponent's removals, but if you're more comfortable having men to block, then bring in a team to defend our life total. That's the deck, boys. Let's go play some games. Do you want to play a game? 
This is Spin Cycle Ticks, no wait, it's Spy Endrix, whatever that means. Amazingly, we get a five lander to kick things off. That's a full five black already, all we need is one more to be able to play out Doomsday. The early removal will help us against any early enemies. We already have our Jace to close out the game, so we'll need our draws to be on point. As we like to say around here, keep your pants on. They play out a Boras land, but pass the turn without playing out anything else. We'll want to draw into another removal or two if they're playing with fire over there. A carrot cake. So they are Boras tokens then. That's good to know. The small size token will take some time to build up and that could give us the time we need to draw into some real action. We draw into a virtue. Let's fire it off to snipe their token. Not only is it removal, but it also props up our life total. Every single point could matter before we get to the end. They play out a forge. We have no way of dealing with it, so essentially we have to race the damage from the tokens it generates. It's a slow but steady clock the first several turns, but then quickly begins to speed up. We get another Jace. All we really need is one, but with multiples, we can use one to draw if we're not having much luck drawing into cards we need. They land a Caretaker's Talent. They'll likely try to make a copy of one of their Forge tokens at some point, so we should be prepared to snipe their token when they go for it. We've got the highly sought after Triple Jace Hand. At this point, all we really need is a Doomsday and a sixth black mana. We can get the Doomsday now and leave mana up for our Edict. That's the copy we were waiting for. Let's snipe their token. Sure, we could have sniped it earlier, but then they would still have the ability to copy at a later time. This way, they've used the copy ability, and it's gone to waste. We draw a fabled passage that secures our sixth black mana. We'll play out our second shark land this time around. Now we just have to live long enough to play out Doomsday and follow him up with a Jace. There's nothing we can do about their tokens now. Our fate will depend on what they've got in hand. They make a token copy of their Forge token. So it looks like we'll be facing down 10 damages next time they attack. We'll have a Doomsday, so we'll give a block. Let's go grab that Swamp. The countdown to Doomsday has begun. And there he is. One half of the Doomsday device has been implemented. If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. 
they hit the board with a sunfall. Doomsday has done his job already. If they can't deal 12 damage this turn, it's their last turn. A lightning helix hits us for three, but their tokens will only hit us for six, which is not enough. GG's, bro. Nice try, but all your books have been stolen. No library left. Jace will clean up their act and send them home on the sad bus. Surrender every last thought to Phyrexia. This is apartment E-432. Not every day we get to battle an apartment. This three lander looks pretty good. We've got a little bit of everything. All we need to do is find our combo and we have an impulse to help out. Keep. They're hitting us with a discard enchantment. They're usually light on men, so we'll go ahead and toss the sweeper. There's a very good chance we won't need it. Let's fire back with discard of our own. Duress will give them a taste of their own medicine. Let's strip out their bandit's talent and we can fire off the second duress to take out their ruthless negotiation. Lily will be a problem we'll need to solve. We have a removal already, but they have two of them. there's the first of two lilies. Maybe they'll toss out their other one. Let's see what we can dig up with Impulse before we have to toss a card. Let's take the Edict. It's a second removal for the lily they kept. Don't overthink things. A Doomsday is not what we'd have liked to get, but here we are. Let's take out the first lily, then we can snipe the other one on our next turn. No more distraction. Doomsday has to go down a hole. That means we have only one left in the deck and one more tutor to find him with. We have to take out Lily. There's no way we can let her rip cards out of our hand There's turn no after turn. Well, of course they draw a bandit's talent. I mean, why not? Another land draw, but this time, we can at least fight back. The shark land will take a bite out of their life total and their library. If your only play is a Mirex, you should still make the token at the end of the opponent's turn. There's no reason to make them at sorcery speed. We draw a demolition field, and we can use it to take out their Mirex, but that doesn't really get us any closer to knocking their life total to zero. We're on a clock and the turns are going to go fast, so we should hit while we can. They drop another bandit's talent, which cuts our remaining turns in half. We might have had a chance, but now I'm not so sure. The wheels have fallen off the shark bus. This is our last turn, and our draw is... a land. We gave it a shot, but we came up empty-handed. 
It doesn't really matter if we hang on to the land or not. We'll still get hit for damages by the bandit's talents. That'll be GG's. This is noses are red. No wait, it's Neo's errors. What's in your invisible box, bro? We get a three lander with a pair of bounce slash removals and our counter plus the doomsday tutor. This is all right. If we have to use the bounce to stay in the game, we will. Keep your pants on. We have an impulse on top. We have to keep it. That's four cards deeper into our deck we can get. We'll play out the swamp to prepare to fire off our impulse at the end of their turn. A pair of planes is all they've got. It's hard to believe they don't have any plays through their first two turns. Maybe they've got removal? They've got two targets in our entire deck and by the time they see them, it'll be too late. We've got a choice of four different lands. I do like the fabled passage here. It's like getting two lands with only one card. Another impulse is excellent. We'll land our shark land this time around and let them have a go at trying to play MTG. They were being patient and fire off a white virtue to make a token. We've got the perfect answer for their token, but let's wait until they try to send it. We're intercepting that package. Bro, your token has gone to Belize for a little vacation from your deck, LOL. Amazingly, they don't have a follow-up play. They play out an Elspeth. We could hit it with the counter, but all it's going to do is generate a 1-1 one -one token and we have a pair of Vortex in hand that are itching for targets. Let's send Elspeth back in time. Get gone, girl. See you in like 50 turns. We get another impulse. We've got the power to filter through our deck and fetch out the cards we need. Right now we need land. Let's see about getting ourselves up to five mana. We've got a sweeper on top, which might come in handy, especially if they are able to generate multiple tokens in a single turn. A caretaker's talent? Sure, bro, whatever you want. We all know they're going to try to copy it, and they try right away. What they should have done was attacked first, at least get in some damages. We really don't have much in the way of plays. We could fetch out our doomsday, then hopefully the impulse can find us a Jace. We'll still need a sixth black to play out the first half of our doomsday device. They go for a dollmaker's shop. It will generate a 1-1 one, one token every time they attack. But they don't have any men, so it doesn't really do anything. Good luck with that, bro. We get our choice of four lands. It's not much of a choice, really. Let's sit back and watch what else they have planned. We can counter and draw with three steps ahead, and if they play more tokens out, we have the sweeper to clear them out. Their anaconda didn't want none. GG's, bro. Well played. This is Grien Fine Gers, pride of the Jurs family. Get in there, bro. We get a three lander with a good mix of cards. We've got a removal, plus half of our doomsday device keep.
We're not sure if duress would be good in this situation, but if it is, then we'll have two of them. I hope you don't like your hand, bro. Wait, are they mono-red? And they didn't go first? It's a shark miss miracle. Sure, we're taking a hit, but we've got a duress bomb coming. Let's see what they've got. I'd like to get rid of both of these, but chances are they'll be able to fire one off before we can make them toss the other. We've got a vortex on top, which could be huge. We wants it, we needs it. They plot one of their men. They do know they can play it like a normal card, right? Mono red is hilarious. Let's hit them with our second duress and we'll hold up our vortex in case they go for a pumped up guy. That's one flying turkey. They've got another plotted and they play that one out too. We'll snipe a turkey now and snipe a turkey later. They've suffered drain bamagey and can't figure out who to pump. Let's help them. It doesn't matter, bro. Try it and see. Their last card in hand must be juicy. They keep looking at it like it's their golden child. Just swing in, bro. They hit attack all without really thinking things through. We'll activate our shark land. I like my life, so I give a block. Now all they have left is their last turkey and he's not looking so good. All his buddies have taken a dirt nap and he's thinking he's next. Let's fire off our impulse and see about getting some ammo. We get a nice selection of cards, but I'm really liking the Virtue. It's more removal and gains us a bit of life as well. Let's check out what they're holding before we snipe their turkey. It's a sad day in Turkey Land. All their men have been eaten like it was Thanksgiving. And they've only managed to get six damages on us this whole game. Nice job, Mono Red. They suffer some drain damage and run away crying before we can say GG's. This is hurts like a Jeep. No wait, it's Ezra Heap. A heap of what, bro? We get a three-lander to start this one. A removal, a bounce, and a banner along with a counter should hold us up through the early turns. We are going first, which helps. Keep. They play out a vine lasher, which could be a real pain. Let's not leave this stone unturned. We'll melt him off the board with our virtue. It's a Rakdos Bats player. Once again, they are relying on their bat to do more than it is capable. What are you gonna grab? The removal? The bounce? The counter? The life gain they get from the bat will not matter to our game plan. They could be at a trillion life and our combo will still get them. They fire off some burn. Sure, it's three damage, but we're not in any danger yet. And they're down a card in hand. Keep throwing them out, bro.
we get a virtue. It's the perfect card to snipe their bat. Getting that extra life along with taking out their bat is perfect for us. Get gone, girl. That's a big IQ play right there. My friends, don't do something like that. We've already got a virtue waiting for the mana to be played out. All this does is burn cards in their hand. That's nice, another burn thrown out. We don't have anything for them to use it on, but I really don't think they've brought enough burn to get us to zero. You know, we have to grab a swamp, and we'll even use the demolition field to get another. We are one black mana from closing this game out. We do have a three steps ahead we could use to draw, but let's see if we can use it to counter something and get the draw as a bonus. We get an impulse, which might get us that sixth black we need. They play out a gecko that we can't counter, but it's going to land without generating the two mana. At least they can use it to cycle some cards. All right, Impulse, find us what we need. We have to take the Fabled Passage. That'll get us the sixth black we need and we get it untapped. Before we go on to our turn, let's snipe their gecko. Doomsday has entered the chat. They have one last turn to do 14 damage. Get it done, bro. I believe in you. They did zero damage to us. GG's, bro. Jace has cleanup duty, but it's something he's good at. Let's steal all the books. They leave early for their appointment at Baskin Robbins. They gotta get that scoop. 
And that, my friend, is another satisfied customer.